Hi everyone, welcome to UK Diver. My name's Andy, I'm a BSAC Dive Lead and Open Water Instructor, and today, as promised, I'm here to talk to you about what exactly is BSAC. So what is BSAC? Well, BSAC stands for the British Subaqua Club. Uh, and as the name suggests, it's a uh, UK diver training agency, uh, so, uh, diver certification agency. Um, they are, there are quite a few differences between the way BSAC runs, which, uh, which is, a, uh, is based on a volunteer kind of model, uh, compared to some of the uh, commercial operations. So I guess the biggest one's Paddy. Um, so, um, it varies in, in quite a few different ways, so uh, let's have a look at them in some more detail. So, structure. BSAC is the world's biggest scuba diving club. Uh, there are branches all over the globe, uh, and I think uh, roughly at the moment about 15% of BSAC members are international members, so uh, overseas members. Uh, but the vast majority are based uh, here right in good old Blighty. Uh, BSAC runs itself on a volunteer model, okay? Uh, so there are no uh, owners of BSAC. BSAC's not owned by anybody. Uh, it's a company limited by guarantee. Um, and it's it's primarily uh, run by volunteers. There are certain people in each queue, uh, mainly admin staff who get, you know, it's their job, they get paid to sort of deal with all the admin that run that uh, comes with running the world's biggest diving club, I guess. Uh, but the majority, and certainly at grassroots level, um, it's, it's all run by volunteers. So if you compare that with Paddy, um, who, you know, which is owned by investment companies, uh, so these are very much hard-nosed, you know, making money machines, um, you know, uh, it feeds down into the culture, you know, we've all heard the acronym, you know, Paddy, put another dollar in. Um, but you know, it's just the business model, how it works, you know, um, it's the way it is. With BSAC, we have branches of the clubs. Um, so we'll use the term club branch sort of interchangeably. So the club is, I guess, BSAC as a whole, if we're being very accurate with terminology. Uh, and then your local club uh, is technically a branch of the bigger club. But you know, I go to club night and my club night's on a Monday and, and you know what I mean, we call the little bits clubs as well. Um, so, most BSAC clubs don't have their own premises. Um, what you've basically got is uh, sort of a, a classic club structure where there'll be certain volunteers or members of the club that will take on specific roles to make sure that the club functions normally. So whereas with Paddy you'll have a dive shop and that dive shop will be owned by somebody. Uh, you know, the lead instructor or something like that. And then he'll have a, a shop manager and then a, a load of instructors and DMs and that underneath him. Um, it's, it's similar uh, with BSAC and so you've got the dive officer, me, uh, for Ponty. Uh, you've also got the chairman uh, and then they've got a load of officers that, that, that do various jobs to keep the club running and, and make it function. Um, so, it, you know, from that point of view, it's, it's very similar. Um, yeah, so, so uh, but, but clubs won't have their own premises, like a, a paddy centre, you know, will be a shop. Uh, it'll have some scuba stuff you can buy, um, you know, it'll have somewhere where you can get your gas, so that the compressor and this, that and the other, and you can buy your courses there, you know, it, 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 it's a shop. Um, BSAC clubs tend not to, you know, have shops and, and things like that, so we tend to meet in uh, your local pub. Um, or you know a community centre, or maybe even the pool um, if it's got sort of conference rooms uh, and a bar and things like that. Um, with the pool, you know some modern centres have that. Uh, then they'll meet there. So quite a range of uh, what you're going to get depending on what BSAC branch you go with. Um, so so yeah, that's pretty much it for structure. Okay, so on to looking at courses. Well, um, BSAC courses, worldwide recognized courses, uh, exactly the same as PADI. They are CMAS authorized and approved. They confirm to all the international standards, 
all that kind of jazz. So straight away we can get that out of there. They are a pucker bona fide um, proper diving qualification, just like any of the other certification agencies. Um, I guess the difference you're going to see um, with regards to courses. So let's talk about starter courses first, so introductory courses. Um, being UK based, um, the BSAC courses include a lot of the, um, I guess, specialities um, that you need to UK to dive here in the UK. So if you were doing your paddy open water, um, you would do that uh, and, and that's it, okay? Uh, and then anything extra that you need, you need to do and, and pay for all the specialities to, to go with them. Um, some of those specialities are core to UK diving. So let me give you an example, okay? So if you do paddy open water and then you would need to do to dive in the UK, you'd need to do your dry suit, okay? Dry suit in the UK is not a luxury. It's not a add-on that you can add if you want it to. Uh, you need to dive in a dry suit because you'll freeze to death in the UK. It's as simple as that. So it's not a uh, optional extra. Um, same with rescue skills, okay? In the UK, we are not renowned for having miles of visibility. So um, quite often when you're on a dive, even if you've jumped off a boat with 12 other people, um, very quickly you'll lose them people in the murk, in the gloom, um, and it'll effectively just be you and your buddy. So if something goes wrong, you need the rescue skills to be able to get yourselves out of trouble, yeah? Um, both you and your buddy. You can't rely on anybody else. Now that's different if you're diving in the Caribbean, you've got you know 50 meters of veers, there's a group of 10 of you, and you've got three or four dive masters looking after you. You know, if there's an emergency then, those guys and gals will deal with it. That's what they're trained for, that's what they're being paid for, that's their job, okay? Uh, but in the UK, it's very different. So if you're training here in the UK, uh, you're gonna need your rescue skills. So with BSAC, your dry suit is included in the in the course and rescue skills are taught right from day one uh, and then progress as you go through the the diver grades so that's kind of the introduction and where the differences are there there's not as many add-ons so to speak with 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 a BSAC uh, diver training course so ocean diver would be the first one um, looking forward to your higher diving courses then differences there with paddy um, kind of you know the first goal so to speak um, is to become a dive master uh, and with becoming a dive master it's kind of the first step into the paddy machine so to speak so you are it's the first step into professional as in being paid for um, diving and, and from there um, you go and become an instructor and yada 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 that kind of stuff with the BSAC um, sort of diver training schemes, it's slightly, well, it's not, it's a totally different emphasis. So rather than being trained like a dive master to, you know, look after students in a group and, you know, herd them like cats, it must be really difficult. But uh, again, you know, because we're diving in the UK and you can't dive in a group of 10, okay, you just can't, there's not the visibility usually to do that kind of thing. Um, th there's no point teaching to do that. So. Instead, because BSAC is focused on actually going recreational diving rather than training divers, um, our higher grades are about teaching you the skills to go and run really effective, fun, safe, and fantastic dive trips. So dive leader like me, um, that's what we are trained to do, is to take your club um, on a rib and go and have a fantastic adventure, okay? Um, advanced diver, more of the same. First class diver, you know, expeditions around the globe, that kind of stuff is, is what you're being trained for. So that's kind of the difference. Paddy, again, a commercial operation. They train you to start becoming part of the machine. BSAC, it's about taking your club and your club members diving. Okay, so that's the sort of high grades. Um, specialities, okay. <laughs> Commercial operations, lots of specialities, sell your little courses all over the place. BSAC, yeah, it's getting a lot of the same. Um, more, they didn't call them specialities, it's skill development courses, um, but it's kind of the same thing. It's like, you know, if you want to develop your skills in a particular area, you can go and do that. Or if you've got particular interest, archeology, span wrecks, squidge, you know, that there's a course to suit you doing that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll do a little video on what I think are sort of the crucial ones and what I think are the, the um, not so crucial ones, but perhaps the more interest ones. And we'll have a look at those a little bit closely uh, in the future. 
So yeah, instructors, okay, another big area of difference between a commercial operator and BSAC. So a commercial operator, commercial operator, okay, so again, let's look at Paddy. Um, those guys, you know, you go into a Paddy Dive Center, you book your course, okay, you're paying them to deliver a course for you, okay? So it's gonna be quick fire, it's gonna be done fast, um, and you know, you, you're gonna get what you paid for. Yeah, um, it'll be, you know, nothing wrong with the quality of the instruction, it'll be fine, uh, and your instructor will be nice and personable and, 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 you know, be great with you, absolutely great with you. But it's gonna be very intense, yeah? Um, so you're talking a weekend doing your theory and your pool sessions, and then probably another weekend, two days, and then inland dive site, somewhere like Cape and Ray, or Stony Cove, or one of those other sort of flooded quarries that we all go to, um, to practice skills and um, learn how to dive initially. Uh, nice, safe environment. And that's it, so you're talking basically four days and you're gonna be a qualified diver. Um, and that's all great. With BSAC, we take a slightly different approach. Now, uh, we've all sort of heard the acronyms, you know, PADI, oh, it's put another dollar in. You know, it's a commercial operation, guys. This shouldn't surprise you. They're gonna wanna sell your stuff. That's how they make their money. This, they, they, you know, these guys and girls are making a living. Um, with me, I'm not making a living. Um, I'm training you to become my buddy. You know, I'll be your instructor today, but I'm gonna be a dive buddy tomorrow. So I want to make sure that you are as good as I can get you uh, before, you know, my life might be in your hands. Um, so we take a slightly different approach. And, you know, one of the sort of unpleasant sort of acronyms you get from BSAC, and I'm not allowed to say the first word because it might break YouTube's sweary policy, uh, but it's blooming slow and careful. Yeah, BSAC, blooming slow and careful. Uh, and I guess that's right, it is a lot slower. So for me, uh, when I'm training an ocean diver trainee, um, you're probably talking eight weeks, okay? So that's eight Monday nights that you need to come down to do your theory and to do your pool sessions. And then it's probably gonna be two weekends uh, in open water getting the skills right. And again, some of that's just down to because I have to teach you how to dive in a dry suit and I've got to teach you the rescue skills that on the open water course with Paddy, you're not gonna learn because it's not part of the criteria. Um, so some of it is because you're getting more, um, you're learning more stuff, you're getting more instruction. Um, but the other, um, you know, the other factor is that just, um, you know, I'm just trying to say this without being rude. I don't know anybody that's ever failed a paddy open water course, let's put it this way, put it that way, okay? Whereas, you know, with me, I will only sign you off um, as being able to do that skill when you are competent and confident. And what that means is A, you can do it, and B, you're smiling while you're doing it. So yeah, mass clearing. <laughs> if you're not smiling, I'm not signing you off. <laughs> so um, yeah, it, it, it can be a little bit slower. The other reason it can be slower is because you're not a client and you're not a customer, okay? You are a club member. Now in one respect, that's great because you're part of the family. And like I said, you know, I will be diving with you at some point. That's the whole reason that I'm doing this. Um, the downside is, is I don't owe you anything. You don't tell me when I'm going to go and dive and, and train you and this, that, and the other. Okay, you're not a customer, so I'm a volunteer. I've got work commitments. I've got family commitments. I've got diving commitments. Um, so you know, it's kind of we'll do the training when I'm free to do so. Yeah. Um, so you know, and, and I'm not saying that's that's you know negatively kind of thing. You know, obviously I work with the student and get mutually times, but it's not going to be. I can't guarantee that I'm going to be there for you one weekend and there for you next weekend. Okay, it's just not going to be like that. So that can sometimes slow down the process as well because um, instructor availability can be a bit of an issue in clubs. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for instructors, guys. I don't think I've missed anything else. If you got any comments? Let me know down below. Okay, so you've passed or you're a qualified diver uh, and you wanna go diving. Do you go to a dive center or do you go to a club? You go to a club, okay? A dive center, uh, uh, you know, I don't wanna keep, I'm not knocking them, but I don't wanna keep that, but their job, what they get paid for is to train divers, yeah? That's what they get paid for. They don't get paid to take you on a jolly. Uh, and go and have a nice dive or an adventure and this, that, and the other. I'm sure, sure they enjoy doing that, but that's not paying the bills, yeah? And that's what they're doing, you know, they've turned their hobby into a career, okay? So they need to pay the bills. So, um, unfortunately, 
uh, they are not going to want to take you diving after you're qualified unless of course you're paying for another course some may offer you guided dives around the local quarry something like that um, and they'll almost certainly have a couple of uh, quite expensive trips a year going on um, at which you know you, you're fine to go on but do remember do remember that they'll be getting paid somewhere from it so either you're paying an increased price or they are making a benefit out of a book 12 uh, only pay for 10 and um, you won't be getting the discount on that okay so they'll be getting the free spaces uh, and you know and that's their payment for taking you uh, and you know and, and, and diving with people who uh, without wanting to sound rude may not be at the top of their game dive wise so um, so so that's that's the kind of it with you know with the commercial lot yeah with us, um, with BSAC and in a club, obviously in a club environment. So yeah, you're gonna have people to dive with all the time. That's the whole point of a club. Um, and you have to sort of, you know, get involved in the club. And you know, um, like I say, you know, I'll be instructing you on, teaching you one day, and you know, we'll go diving uh, the next kind of thing. So, um, you know, again, you know, it, it's part of the industry, I'm afraid, guys. The sort of animosity between the professional and the and the um, the, the volunteer. But uh, you know, I've heard it said from from paddy instructors or oh, BSAC. You know, they sit around and talk about diving. They never actually go diving. Um, and again, it's kind of true. Do we sit around? Yeah, I meet my dive friends every Monday night. And we have a couple of jars and uh, we talk about diving uh, and we plan dive trips and, and and do all that kind of stuff. But I think where they miss out is actually we do go diving. Lockdown restrictions. Have been knees for about eight weeks now and I have literally not stopped with teaching with going on dive trips uh, and, and just doing general divey stuff I was in Cape and Ray yesterday with one of our newly qualified ocean divers just for some experience dive so no instruction no teaching just going and having a play um, and it was brilliant uh, next weekend I'm off to Pembroke then we've obviously got scapper coming up as hopefully you know about uh, and then we've got boat handling courses and, and this that and the other so so you know good clubs active clubs there's lots of opportunities to go diving so um so yeah it, for me you know i joined a club because once i'd done my paddy open water there, there was no diving so i looked around and um, my local b-sec club was doing diving and i'm a b-sec diver so that's where it is so that's my take on it guys i'm sure there's going to be some other people that go no 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 that's not the case uh in the uk yeah that is the case yeah okay so um it's just the way it is uh, i'm sure there are other dive centers that that break the mold okay but generally i'm afraid in the uk that's it dive centers train divers they don't take divers on holiday or dive trips or anything like that okay so if you want to really do uk diving Anything I say is yeah, have a look at a club, paddy club. You know, if you've got a club attached to your dive centre, do that, fine. But other than that, you know, it, club life, yeah, it's what it's all about. Okay, the final thing I want to talk about is boats. Yeah, uh, again, might be different abroad where it's nice and sunny and there's lots of water and the weather's always kind to you, but here in the UK commercial diving providers you know your per commercial paddy schools that will not have uh, their own boat okay they're just they're just not conversely most BSAC clubs who are not all so much about the training but actually about going diving and, and having a good time and having an adventure most BSAC clubs now will have boats BSAC is very very boaty I will put pictures and links up here uh, you know they do the Menai boat run um, most years uh, this year they were supposed to do the first um, Thames boat run but coronavirus killed that but I'm sure that's going to be back but but yeah um, we're big into boats um, not particularly for the boats the boats are tall to get you a dive site but um, you need the boat really if you want to go and do some of the dive sites because there's just not a, a hard boat or a commercial operation uh, everywhere so near where I live our, our closest coast the east coast there are no um, commercial dive operations or, or boat operations until you get to like you know nearly the Scottish border. So unless you've got your own boat, that's the whole coastline there that you, you don't have access to. Um, so you know you, you need a boat, um, and, and boats are brilliant. So not only you know do BSAC offer the training on you know how to pilot the boat, how to navigate with the boat, all the safety stuff that goes around the boat, um, but so we, we do all that as well so it's great for you know developing yourself and another aspect of your diving or another aspect of your you know 
roundness as a, as a capable diver. Um, but it's, it's just the freedom. It's just the freedom. I love it. I love just being able to, you know, ring a few of my mates. Hello, mister. Hello, missus. Do you want to go diving this weekend? Yeah, it's great. Pff, and you, you know, you get the boat and you do what you want to do when you want to do it. Okay, and you just have a fabulous adventure. Um, hard boats, love hard boat diving as well, but it does take away some of the magic because you do what the skipper says and you go where the skipper says the weather's good and you know, it's there, but it's not quite the same sort of freedom. Um, so it, it is different. So if the, the boating, the adventure, um, you know, uh, uh, and that is, is kind of where you want to be, yeah, you need to be with a club because like I said, I don't know and have never come across a dive centre um, that's got its own boat unless they've got a quarry next to them because the dive centre is set up next to them. But that'll just be a safety boat. It's not going to be something you go on a jolly with. So yeah, if you're looking for boats, um, a, a club, not necessarily b set, but certainly a club um, of some form is, is probably where you're going to want to be. Okay guys, so a bit long-winded this one, I'm afraid I've tried to keep it as neutral as possible. Um, I've got a lot of respect for my professional uh, friends who do it for a living. It's not something I'd want to do, I've got to be, be honest, um, doing it professionally uh, for a living. Um, from what I understand, the margins are very small and it, it's sort of always a bit hand to mouth. Uh, and besides that, you know, um, work's work, you know what I mean? And my hobby's my hobby, I do my hobby to get away from work. And I'm not sure I'd like it if my hobby became work. Um, but, you know, that's just me. But if that's the choice you've made, you know, Godspeed to you kind of thing. And, and, and there's, there's definitely a place for, for everybody. Uh, and, and, you know, there shouldn't be this, this fight off. There's always going to be because, you know, people are tribal with these things. You know what I mean? They're tribal. We've got football club you support, where you live. Guys, what car you drive nowadays? Um, if you're an Audi driver, I hate you. Okay, it's just simple as that. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just one of those things. So that's kind of the main differences. I'm sure there's many more. If you think of anything that obvious that I've missed, then yeah, leave it down in the comments below. I'll be curious to see. But what I don't want is this to get into a, a slanging match between you know Paddy and BSAC. You know, th there's room for everybody. Um, I've tried to be as neutral as I can. Of course, I'm always going to come down on the BSAC side. What should you do? Yeah, join a BSAC club. You know, come and see us. Um, but it, it's it, you know, it's just the way it is, and it it doesn't. It's not really for me to say. It's what you need out of diving. You know, if you're only ever going to dive when you're on holiday, then a, a BSAC club's a waste of time for you, or you know, any form of club's a waste of time for you. But if you're serious about diving in the UK and about diving lots and getting lots of opportunities to go and dive, um, yeah, then a club might be a good fit for you. I am going to do um, a little video on, on you know, for newbie divers um, on how to find a buddy and how to become a good buddy and make sure that you are the buddy of choice um, when it comes to trips. Uh, so we'll do that uh, perhaps in the next video. But apart from that, guys, yeah, like, subscribe, uh, plenty more stuff coming your way, lots and lots of uh, things to do and say more reviews of stuff I've got coming up as well and of course I know I keep banging on about it but Scapa is getting closer and closer so uh, really looking forward to that one so hope you well guys hope coronavirus again is not destroying your life but it shouldn't be we're, we're okay in the UK now so so we're not too bad certainly getting out diving anyway so um, yeah like subscribe and I'll see you on the next video